Uh, there were about four years where we had no, no fine arts here at all, but when the fine arts came back, they came back bigger and stronger than ever. We have, you know, we have programs that we didn't even dream of before. We have dance. Uh, music is back. Uh, theater the same. Digital film. The reason the arts are back is because the university wanted them back and, and they wanted them to, to help uh, complete the student experience on campus. So uh, we're very excited and, um, and we think that um, um, it's already bigger and better than it was and it's just growing uh, from that point forward. Our dance majors are really, really active. Um, they, they want to produce work and they become very involved in the local community. We just want to be visible and we want to be out there and um, inspire others to dance. We want everybody in our student body here at GCU to get out on the dance floor and recognize how when they, when they move, they can actually spark those synapses in their brains and start to think better. So dance is for everyone. We put on a number of uh, productions throughout the year. Uh, generally, we do five or six major concerts. We perform a fully staged opera every year. Uh, this is the third year that we've done that. This last fall, we just performed Cosi Fantute, and this is a collaboration that we do with the Ethington Theater and the theater program, and it's a fully staged uh, production uh, of, of an opera. Uh, and we do a uh, fully staged musical in the spring. It's always a great uh, collaboration for our music students that are um, looking to uh, career in performance, particularly either in musical theater or in opera, to begin to get a hands-on uh, experience uh, of a fully staged production that is usually a very good uh, quality production and really reflects well in our university. The theater program of the College of Fine Arts and Production at GCU uh, is really an apprenticeship-based program in the sense that most theater is learned by doing. It's a hands-on experience. I'd say more than 90% of our students are on scholarship. And what's important about that is that that means they participate backstage in sets, lights, costumes, sound, uh, and, as well as makeup and, and hair. Um, so they get a hands-on experience. The idea behind that is that the more they know about all forms of theater, the more likely they are to be employed in any area in theater. Uh, not only being well informed, but it makes them indispensable in the industry. Um, in fact, a number of our students are out interning right now with some of the professional companies all around town. And I think that our, our first graduating class that's coming up soon uh, will have a real good shot at not only getting in graduate school programs, but also just going straight into the professional field. What they're learning, the theories are still the same. I mean, what changes is the technology and the techniques to achieving what you want to do. So how they're learning to tell stories is indifferent. What they're learning as far as being able to achieve more based on technology uh, availability and uh, concepts and pushing their uh, creativity minds, that's changed and it's become great. And they've been able to, you know, their concepts are the limits. What they want to be able to do is, as far as I see that, I want to pull that off and I want to push it forward. Uh, we do just about anything that we can come up with and if the students find something new, we try and put it together. Any place that there's video, you usually will find a DFB student uh, working in that, which is just about everywhere. The significance of, of our graduating class this year in, in College of Fine Arts and Production is that we have, in most programs, our first uh, in freshman class that's graduating. So people who've been here actually four years. And what's exciting is we, we now get to see this large group of students go out into the world and make a difference. And we can revel, if you will, in, in their success. Uh, they have worked very hard and it's really, it's very exciting. It's, it, it's also a little bit um, uh, sad. These are our babies who have grown up and now are gonna be going out. And uh, they, they're no longer babies, they are all very well prepared and, and ready to, to go out either to grad school or into the job market. So we're very excited.